From WNDU, your breaking news and weather authority, this is New Center 16 at 5. Beam me up, Scotty, is a phrase many of us remember from Star Trek as Captain Kirk gives the command that he needs to be transported to the Starship Enterprise. And while science fiction has fascinated us for years, time is critical in real-life situations, and teleporting medicine is happening right here in Michiana. Today, in an exclusive medical moment just before 6, I'll show you how a robot in South Bend and telemedicine allows neurologists to offer the most advanced stroke care, reaching out to subspecialists across the country. The robot you see maneuvering its way into the emergency room at St. Joseph Regional Medical Center is being controlled by Dr. Sarkis Morales Vidal okay. from his office at Loyola Could University Medical Center outside Chicago. Right to the bedside of a potential stroke patient for an immediate second opinion in the most difficult cases. What were your symptoms specifically? South Bend neurologist Paula Toth Russell says the majority of cases can be taken care of right here at home. I must stress that most of our stroke patients are still identified, treated, and managed locally within, within our own walls. But time, usually a three hour window, is of the essence. And despite the best advances with medications like TPA for acute treatment of stroke, there is a lot that goes on inside the brain in a small segment of the population who need more specialized testing or therapies. And that's where this robot and the Med Center's partnership with Loyola, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, comes in. They have you know, subspecialty neurologists uh, termed interventional neurologists and also fellowship trained stroke neurologists who have um, uh, certainly a, a wider uh, base of patients. Dale Seeley of Jimtown is alive today because of the telemedicine program between the two hospitals. Despite suffering from high blood pressure, he had no idea in January that he was having an acute stroke. I was starting to have some double vision and I was dizzy. Uh, I just thought I probably needed something to eat, so wisely I got myself a Starbucks and headed to work. After I got into the room, um, that uh, it really got bad. My, my, I felt a lot of warmth on my shoulder. I asked my wife if they had a heating pad on me, and she said no, and that's when everything kind of went, went numb. Dale had a blood clot in an extra unknown artery in his brain. Doctors at St. Joe immediately got a hold of Loyola. His stroke symptoms were advancing to the point that we required, uh, again, this more subspecialty care and more um, intensive and invasive types of tests that uh, Loyola was able to offer. Knowing they had a roughly three to six hour window, Dale was rushed to Chicago, where he spent a week having specialized treatment and then came back to St. Joe to finish treatment. He was in an emergency situation. So today we're showing you what he might have gone through with Jeannie, a hospital employee who was kind enough to role play for us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon, Dr. Morales. Hi. 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 We have a patient here we'd like your consultation on. With cameras also rolling in Chicago, you're able to see Dr. Morales use a joystick to control this robot at St. Joseph in South Bend and basically do a bedside check of Jeannie's cognitive function. And can you put your pumps up now like this? And even follow Dr. Yes. Toth Russell across the room to look at Jeannie's brain imaging. Like Dale, if our test patient Jeannie had needed treatment she couldn't get in South Bend, a helicopter would be standing by waiting to get her to Chicago in that all-important time frame to protect a patient from brain damage or even death. A fate Dale is sure he would have been facing if it not for his quick treatment and this new technology involving telemedicine. And that partnership, I think, is the reason that I'm here, I'm healthy, I'm alive, and I'm working today. So I'm very grateful, very grateful for that, very blessed. Strokes happen fast, and this telemedicine technology is the wave of the future. Doctors at St. Joseph say allowing them to activate the most advanced stroke care in the country is critical when every second counts. And you'll be seeing a lot more about this technology in the coming weeks. And St. Joseph launched their stroke telemedicine website less than an hour ago. To check it out, you can go to our website, WNDU.com, and click on this story.